Sean had two one win against Spurs, so that makes it back to back wins at home. Um, a late winner, but no more than you decide to deserve today. Yeah, I'm really pleased. I think um, the first 35 minutes of the game, I thought we were superb. You know, um, we knew what shape they would play. They played it most games this season already. We knew we had to get the the ball wide quickly to full backs and to the wide men. And um, I thought we moved the ball really well. Um, obviously, good to get an early goal, and we looked really comfortable. I thought the last 10 minutes of the second half, we stopped getting the ball down um, on the floor and playing a little bit, but. You know, it was still a really good first half performance. And we just said to the boys at half time, just keep believing in the way you're playing. You're the better team by far. Um, you know, um, second half, they're going to come out a little bit and have a go, which they did. Um, I didn't think it was a penalty. Perv said his hand was by his side. I don't think any of their players called for a penalty, so I don't know what the referee's seeing there. But um, they give a penalty against us. Obviously, they scored it. And then, you know, it gets you a little bit nervous. Uh, we made a few subs at the right times. And um, you know we got the goal back with uh, Greeny um, towards the end of the game, which was an absolutely unbelievable finish. I thought he was superb throughout the whole 90 minutes. You know he's a real threat with his pace. He can go on the outside and go on the inside. He can play little one twos. You know he's got a bit of skill and he's got a great shot. And um, yeah, really pleased that we got the three the three points and the win because, like I said, I think if it was a draw um, against us and a dodgy penalty, I think it would have been a travesty to be honest. Mm -hmm. And Bailey could have made his 200th competitive start for the club today. How massive has he been for you? Not just today, but also three times at the club. Yeah, I mean, he's massive. Um, you know, we call him the Rock for a reason. Um, we had a little chat before the game with the players, just telling the players, you know, what a great servant he's been and what a, you know, a comp accomplishment it's been for him to get to 200 starts. I think that's his 219th game, um, but 200 starts, which is absolutely amazing. You don't really get that in football nowadays. Um, Obviously, he's vice captain, captain at the moment because Big Will's out injured, and he's been absolutely superb. You know, the last two or three games, and he always is. You know, um, he's a big leader in the dressing room. He's a big voice, and for him to be at Scarborough is a blessing for us, really, because um, not only is he a good player, but he's a really good person as well. So uh, we're really happy to have him. Mm. Well, we've got Chester on Monday, short third round. They've had a bit of an indifferent start, but we know it's going to be a tough game at the Davis Stadium. On yeah, listen, I watched um, the chess. Chester's last two games yesterday um, at home, just doing a bit of homework, and um, they were a very good team. You know, um, we know that from last year. Um, probably, you know, one of the biggest budgets in the league, um, hybrid team, so they train probably twice more than we we train in a week. And um, you know, they've been together a group. The manager's been there a while. They know how how to play. And like I said, they've got some good players. They just bought Kirk Will be back from Oldham. You know, Tom Pierce is there. Who's who's a good player. They've got strength and depth everywhere, really. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game, you know, especially with a quick turnaround. But we just said to the boys now, now listen, you, you know, I know it's bank holiday weekend, but I'm going to have to spoil spoil it a little bit. And uh, you know, I say, say to you, you can't go out tonight and party and stuff like that, and you just got to rest up, really. You know, you've got to sacrifice a little if you want to be um, serious about getting promoted. So uh, fingers crossed, they'll listen to me. Not all the times they do listen to me, but hopefully they listen to me and. Uh, They'll stay in tonight, rest up tomorrow, and we go again Monday. But it's the same for every team, you know. It's the same for Chester as well. So there's no excuses. We've just got to turn up on the get on the day and try and produce, um, you know, the performances we've been producing pre-season and the start of this season. So um, really looking forward to it. Cheers, John.